Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean. Thank you for stopping by to watch today's video on the Louis Vuitton Clooney MM bag. So I bought this bag several months ago. I have an initial impressions video if you want to check that out. But now I have used this several times and I wanted to come here and do a review of this bag as well as show you what fits inside. So when I purchased this bag, I actually went to the Louis Vuitton boutique to look at the speedies and decided that day I was not going to get a speedy. So I left and as I was leaving, I looked to my left and saw this beauty sitting on a shelf and immediately thought, oh my God, what is that? Did a bunch of research that night, went back and bought it the next day. And to be honest, I bought this for one reason and one reason alone, and it is not the right reason to buy a bag. I bought it because it is beautiful. Then we had sort of a rough relationship. I actually tried to list this on Fashion File a couple months ago, and they said they would not take it because they had too many. Um, and I'm really glad that is a lesson again be 100% sure you want to sell something before you do. Um, I have some bags I want to sell. I need to list them on Poshmark, and I was planning to list this, but I've started using this a lot more lately, and I absolutely love it. And the reason I went to list it is because there was one thing that I thought was going to be a deal breaker and that I didn't like about this bag, but in actually using it, I realize that it's more functional because of that. And I'll point that out as I go through this. Uh, but this is in, of course, the classic monogram. The Clooney's come in two size, the MM and, oh, is this the MM or the PM? There's a BB and then this here is the MM. So yeah, there's an MM and a smaller BB. They only come in the classic monogram. They don't come in any other of the monogram or canvas. In the canvas, they only come in the classic monogram, no other um, monograms, and then they come in leather options as well. The MM size is about 2 point, excuse me, 12.6 inches in length. It's about 8.9 inches in height. On the side at the base, it's 4.7 inches in width, and then it tapers up. And then the drop handle length here is four inches. Now I'm just going to give you a 360 degree tour of this bag. So here is the front with the flap closure, which is uh, attached via magnets here in the center and here. So three strong magnetic closures, and those are great because they help the monogram to line up between the two different pieces of canvas. On the back, it has um, actually upside down monogram. If I open this, you can see it is all upside down. This entire back piece of uh, monogram is upside down, but because of the way they have stitched on this pocket here, it gives the illusion that it's all right side up, which I really, really love, and I think that was a great move. Now, the smaller uh, BB size does not come with a back pocket, so keep that in mind. But I love that this has this back pocket on here. You can see it more than adequately holds my iPhone, which is the biggest iPhone you can get. So I absolutely love that that has that there because it's just such easy access to your phone. On the bottom, it does have four feet. It's not a particularly saggy bottom. I have a lot of stuff in here, but it sags enough that if you put this on a surface and it's got a lot in it, the middle part here is going to touch whatever surface it is on. So keep that in mind because feet don't always, and in my experience, most often, they don't really protect the whole bottom. Of course, they give more protection, particularly to the corners, than if it didn't have feet, but you still have to be cognizant of where you're setting this down because part of the canvas is going to touch uh, whatever surface it's on. As I said, on the sides, it's got this pleating detail here. It tapers in 
with uh, button closures. I just keep them open. They pop open so easily. Whatever you're going in and out of the bag, that to me, it doesn't make sense to close them. Then on the top is just a Vachetta leather top handle. It says Louis Vuitton Paris across the top of it. And it's a really nice handle. And this is the most comfortable top handle bag I have. Just with this one piece of leather makes it so comfortable when you carry it. Uh, so I absolutely love that. Now I'm going to show you what this bag came with. So the first thing it came with was its own clochette here. It does say Louis Vuitton Paris on it, and it doesn't have a key like other bags do because there is no locking feature on this bag. It's a magnetic flap closure, but it does have a little like D-ring clasp here. So you could, you know, attach something to this if you wanted to, but I'm not quite sure who would you know, want to have a clochette hanging from their bag like that with something else attached to the clochette and hanging past the bottom of the bag. So I think this is probably more for design than practicality, uh, but that's up to the user. It also comes with its own shoulder strap. This is super, super short. It is not very long, and in fact, I have the page up right over here. So let me tell you, it's a 15.4 inch shoulder strap. So super short and it is quite thick. And it is this blue color with this deep burgundy, which is to me coming across as brown on the camera, but it is burgundy and a bright blue. And then it has the Vachetta leather on the ends as well as the the class with Louis Vuitton engraved on it. Um, I might sell this. I saw one on Fashion File for $375. So I'm probably gonna sell that. It's too short. It just doesn't work for me. So I went on Etsy and paid $30 for a Vachetta leather strap. Of course it has no Louis Vuitton branding because it's not a Louis Vuitton strap. But if you look at the glazing on the strap versus the glazing on the top handle of the bag, look how close they are. It is so close. This actually looks like a Louis Vuitton strap. It's adjustable. It's longer than the one that comes with it. It's thinner. And I think it's more practical. Now, I got this before I got my Speedy, which came with a shoulder strap, but I actually like this shoulder strap better than that shoulder strap for this bag because it is a two-part shoulder strap instead of a three-part shoulder strap that the Speedy comes with. But I also like that if you clip it to the front of the strap on one side and the back of the strap on the other side, well, you can see what it's doing. It's keeping the top handle vertical to the ground and parallel to your body. So this top handle it holds it in place so it doesn't flop around, which I absolutely love. So $30 on Etsy, really nice Vachetta leather strap. It's gonna be interesting to see though if it patinas. I think it might it might have started patinaing a little bit um, because I just recently really started using it because I bought it specifically uh, for this bag and I just really haven't been using this bag until recently. Um, when Fashion File said they wouldn't take it, I thought, oh, you know what? Force yourself to use it. See if you like it. And if you don't, sell it on Poshmark. I absolutely love it. And the deal breaker was the top handle. I'm starting to carry bags more by the top handle. And I will add, and I'm sorry if I said this already, but this is the most comfortable top handle bag I have because it's one single handle and it is super comfortable. But the thing I didn't like about it, because I did buy it with the intent that I would use it more as a top handle bag, was that it flops around. It's not a fixed, sturdy top handle that's just going to stay upright. It flops around. And so I didn't really like that. Then it also does stuff like this and this or this. 
or this. Um, so it just, you know, it's not a fixed, sturdy top handle, which is what I thought I wanted and which I probably would want in another top handle bag I got. But what I love about it now is in using it, and I've been using it primarily as a shoulder bag with this shoulder strap, is because this isn't a sturdy top handle, it makes it so much easier to get in and out of hanging from your shoulder. If it was a sturdy top handle and you opened it, look what would happen. The handle would be sticking out this way and your body is like right here. But what happens because it's flexible is when it's against your body and you open the bag, the handle lies flat against your body, which makes it so easy to get in and out of this bag. So I will still use it as a top handle sometimes, but I love that it is flexible actually because as a shoulder bag, it makes it so easy to get in and out of. And I've actually really liked carrying it as a shoulder bag. So now I'm going to show you what fits inside. And I have this packed up for an upcoming trip to Chicago. I'm not sure if I said that already, so I'm not going to get into it. But essentially, I'm taking this for under the seat in front of me on the plane and for my short, short trip to Chicago to be with me during three events I have uh, during that short trip. Um, so one thing I'll point out is as the top expands here, it doesn't expand so you can open it and fill it full of stuff because, well, you can't get it closed and you can't really carry it open and jam packed with stuff. That feature is there to make the mouth of the bag wider. When I do these buttons up, and you can do them up, but they, for one thing, they just pop open so easily if you have anything in there at all on their own. And then when you reach in there, um, if they're closed, they pop open automatically. But I'm glad they have those buttons because if they had just fused this together so it was not movable, then you're dealing with a really small mouth on this bag. Popping those open allows for the mouth to open really wide, which allows you to easily get in and out of this bag. So it's only going to take me 30 seconds or so to show you everything I have in here, but this is really all I need. It fits the iPad Pro 11 inch with the magic thick keyboard case. I need that on the plane. Once I get to Chicago, it's going to stay in my hotel room. So the remainder of the stuff will be with me uh, for the whole weekend there. I have a like mini pochette, I guess it's called here, with a bunch of stuff in it. Pen, lip balm, hand lotion, Advil, AirPods. I don't know what else is in here, but this keeps everything that's loose organized pair of sunglasses, pair of reading glasses, of course not in their cases because that takes up too much space so you have to be careful. Then I have a little wallet here and my keys, six ring, six key ring holder, whatever it's called. So that all fit in there, that's all I need and this is a perfect bag for that. It also does have two slip pockets on the back. My huge iPhone will fit in one of those pockets and it comes up to right up to the top of the bag. I wouldn't use that for that um, because I have the back pocket here. When I've been taking this out and about, I've put my keys and I'm trying to get this to show better. I put my, my key pouch and my wallet in the back pockets there. It also does have a front zippered compartment here. In there right now, I only have some spare masks, but you know, you could put whatever you want in there. It fits a passport, it would fit your phone, it'd fit a wallet. Um, personally, I, I don't like my bags bulging, so having something really thin in here uh, prevents any bulge from happening here. And it's just lined with this maroon, like textile fiber material. And then it has the Louis Vuitton 
uh, heat stamp there. This bag was made in Spain. And there is the magnetic closure. Perhaps you can see it. Why does it look like there's a sticker on there? I don't know. When I look at the video, oh, I guess not. It's part of the, the little flowers here. I thought it was a sticker, but you can see how scratched up that is. And that, that was scratched up like within a day, like opening it just a handful of times. So I hate stickers. That's bound to happen. It's covered, but just know if you get this bag, you are going to have really, really scratched up hardware. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. Um, so I've really fallen back in love with this bag. I'm glad I decided to keep it. I'm glad I have been using it more. I think it is a, a really, really beautiful bag, whether you carry it via the top handle or over the shoulder. So let me know what you think below. I think I probably was smart to keep it and I'm going to continue to keep it and I will be using it in Chicago as a combination shoulder slash top handle bag. But isn't it beautiful? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much, all. I appreciate you uh, tuning in, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.